Welcome to tutorial 1, building a plant model in GPSX. If users prefer written instructions, the corresponding GPSX tutorial manual can be found in the GPSX help menu. The goals of this tutorial are to show users how to build a simple plant layout and how to run a simulation. Begin by opening a new file in GPSX and select the comprehensive Mantis 2 library option from the library drop-down menu. Turn on the display grid by selecting the display grid option from the view menu on the main toolbar. Next, locate the process table on the left hand side of the GPSX window. The icons in the table represent unit processes and are separated into groups of like objects. Within the influent group, left click on the wastewater influent object and drag the object onto the drawing board. Releasing the mouse button will add the object to the drawing board. Repeat this process to add a plug flow tank from the suspended growth processes group. A circular secondary clarifier from the secondary clarifier process group, and a wastewater outfall object from the effluent group. A lot of void space can be seen on the drawing board. To zoom in on the plant, select the Zoom to Plant button on the main toolbar. This will automatically adjust the level of zoom such that the plant is centered and fills the drawing board. The next step is to specify the connectivity between the objects on the drawing board. Move the mouse pointer over the influent object connection point until the default cursor changes to a connecting arrow. Once the connecting arrow appears, left click to anchor a connection line and drag the pointer to the influent connection point of the plug flow tank. When the connection arrow reappears, release the mouse button to create a connection between the influent object and the plug flow tank. In a similar manner, create a connection between the effluent of the plug flow tank and the influent of the secondary clarifier. Connect the underflow from the secondary clarifier to the return flow point of the plug flow tank. Finally, connect the effluent of the secondary clarifier to the wastewater outfall connection point. GPSX will not allow the user to create an invalid connection. If an invalid connection is attempted, GPSX will display an invalid connection sign and not allow the connection to be made. If you experience any difficulty creating connections, you can delete a connection by right-clicking on it and selecting the Delete Connection option. Each object in Stream has a label associated with it. These labels can be toggled on by pressing the Labels button on the main toolbar and selecting which labels you would like to display. To edit the labels being displayed, right-click on the Influent Wastewater object and select the Labels item. Change the unit process label to Influent and the stream label to WWINF. Change the plug flow tank's unit process label to aeration tank, the overflow stream to MLSS, and the recycle stream to RAS1. Notice that the input stream is already labeled WWINF as it is the same stream leaving the influent object and will adopt the same naming convention. Change the secondary clarifier unit process label to final clarifier, the overflow label to FE1, and the pump label to WAS1. Change the main wastewater outfall label to effluent. If any difficulty was experienced building the plant model, you can create a new layout or you can delete and re-add any objects that have been incorrectly set up. To delete an object, left click on the object and select it. When an object is selected, it will be identified by shading the grid cell it is in light blue. The object can then be deleted by pressing the delete key on your keyboard or selecting delete from the edit drop down menu. GPSX will prompt you to confirm the object deletion. This is a good time to save the layout. To save a layout, select the save as option from the file drop down menu on the main toolbar and name the file appropriately. Objects may have multiple models available that define the dynamic behavior of the model object. More information on how the models affect dynamic behavior can be found in the technical manual. Verify that the correct default models have been selected for each object. Right click on the influent object and verify the COD states model has been selected. Verify that the Mantis 2 model has been selected for the plug flow tank. Verify that the simple 1D model has been selected for the secondary clarifier. Finally, verify that the default model has been selected for the wastewater outfall object. We will now change some of the model object default properties. First, we'll change the concentration of total COD that is entering the plant. 
To do this, right click on the Influent object, select the Composition Influent Characterization option. This will open the Influent Advisor window. Change the value of total COD from 430 to 380 grams of COD per meter cubed. Next, change the value of total TKN in the Influent from 40 to 35 grams of nitrogen per meter cubed. Notice how the font of the modified values has changed from black to blue to indicate that they have been changed from the GPSX default values. Accept this form before proceeding. Next, we'll change the secondary clarifier wastage rate by right-clicking on the secondary clarifier and selecting Input Parameter, Operational. Locate the Pump Flow option in the menu and change the value from 40 to 60 meters cubed per day. Accept to save the changes. Finally, we will be changing the temperature of liquid in the plant. Click on the Site Properties button in the upper left corner of the drawing board. Select the Plant-Wide Properties tab of the window and change the liquid temperature to 22 degrees Celsius. Press Accept to save the changes. The plant layout has now been fully built and specified. Save the changes you have made to the plant layout. We will now switch to simulation mode by pressing the Simulation button in the upper right corner of the screen. This will automatically start the build process of creating an executable model for simulation. The speed of the build is determined by the speed of your workstation and the complexity of your model. The building model window will close automatically upon completion, leaving you in the simulation environment. Notice how the plant layout we built is displayed in the bottom left portion of the screen. Outputs are displayed on the right side of the simulation environment. A quick display will be available for each of the objects that has been added to the plant layout. You can easily access the quick display for an object by simply double clicking on the object. A simulation environment is used for running simulations. To run a simulation, press the Start Simulation button in the bottom left corner of the screen. This will run a zero-day steady-state simulation. When the simulation is complete, the tables on the Quick Display tab will be populated with the results. You have now completed Tutorial 1 of the GPSX Tutorial Series. You should now be familiar with the GPSX interface and how to build plant layouts. If you have encountered any difficulties while working through this tutorial, you can refer to the corresponding tutorial manual and the user's manual. Thank you.